Hello everybody, this is George with Melnix Automotive. In this video I would like to show you how to fix check engine light. Um, I'm working on a 2015 Nissan Murano. Basically all the Nissans, the code should be the same. So I went ahead and I pulled a trouble code and as you can see my check engine light is on. It's a P2096. It's a post catalysis fuel trim system 2 lean bank 1. In simple language, what that means is too much air, not enough fuel um, to the vehicle. So when you gonna gonna service, when you're gonna take this car for service, most likely gonna try to replace oxygen sensor. So uh, as a matter of fact, uh, that's exactly what happened here. They try to replace oxygen sensor, and uh, a friend of mine own, owns this car, and he brought it to me to get a second opinion. Here's what I found. Just recently he took it in for service and uh, he had air filter replaced and uh, things like that, wiper blades and what I'm going to show you, here's what happened, I already found the problem and I want to share this with you before you buy an expensive oxygen sensor. Okay, as you could see, when they were servicing air filter, you could see this is locked, okay? I'm not sure, I'm going to get my camera, you can see this, this clip is not locked also look at the alignment you can see how my finger gets buried underneath air cleaner so it's seeping air through this area right here basically what they didn't do they did not reinstall the air cleaner box correctly and it's seeping air so it's getting too much air for this code so before you buy an oxygen sensor always check your air cleaner box make sure it's not seeping air around the box in my case this was very simple fix and uh it didn't cost any money really to fix. Otherwise, he would have spent 250 bucks on oxygen sensor from Nissan, and who knows how much labor would have been to replace it, and his check engine light would have came back. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna re-secure this air cleaner box, and I'll show you what what it looks like when it's there, when it's secured properly. Okay, as you can see, I went ahead and re-secured air cleaner box. I mean, look at the alignment now. You see it's nice and even, so right now it's not sucking any air through that, through this area here, because as you can see, there was a quarter inch gap in there, and that's where all the air was coming inside of um, the, the air, air intake, and that's what I was throwing that code. All we're going to have to do right now is just reset the code, and there's a couple ways you can get that done. You can go ahead and just disconnect your negative battery terminal for 5 to 10 minutes, and then reconnect it or you could use a scan tool so I'm gonna use a scan tool and uh, I recommend launch I Diag you can pick it up on my website it's really inexpensive and uh, it plugs in into OBD2 connector and you could use your cell phone to clear the code so what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna clear the code and start the car and see what happens alright guys so I went ahead and just cleared the code and uh, this connector that I was telling you about, it's a two-piece connector. It's a via Bluetooth. And you can get this on my website, www.melnixauto.com. And uh, like I said, it's an inexpensive connector. It gives you capabilities. It com it's a two-piece. It comes with, uh, it's a red Bluetooth with this adapter, okay? Uh, just just using this, you could clear codes and you could check uh codes and things like that and what you know trouble codes but once you hook on to this connector you'll be able to have to program keys and you could do quite a bit of other things like program um, reset you know airbags it plugs in just like this okay so I went ahead and cleared it and I'm gonna start the car and see what happened I couldn't videotape myself doing that because I'm using myself and to videotape myself and also the software is for droid it's for iPhones you can even put it on your iPad. It would work on those. It's all via Bluetooth. So as you can see, my check engine code is gone. You could also try disconnecting battery cable on some of the newer cars. Um, it's not going to work like the older cars where you disconnect it. The computer forgets the code. Uh, with these newer cars, it actually stores the code in the memory. And even though you disconnect the battery, um, it's still it's still stored in a computer so you're gonna have to wipe it out so sooner or later you will need one of these regardless but that's how you fix p2096 again p2096 
on uh, most Nissan vehicles. Once again, this was George with Melnix Automotive. Also, check us out on our new website, www.melnixauto.com. We have forums on there so you can post your questions, and I'm able to respond uh, to your questions, and I could post the wiring diagrams, uh, trouble codes, and uh, things like that, uh, descriptions, pictures, because I cannot do that on YouTube. Once again, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, shoot us an email or check us out on the website.